Okay, on a couché, couché, on a monté, on a tabo, on a mené un petit on a mené un petit on a host pour le World Body Better Park Gentry Program. We in a salon, people, and we don't learn beaucoup, book in various fields, they mean medicine, dietary, and, 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 and pharmacy. And every penny they bring their program, and every penny they present this program to us. This program, no, they are the copy they say before for give individual advice. They also not generalized advice with the give. For things that we people for look, for that they something wrong, when for go see doctor, and when they go see doctor, they can't question it for ask. And how <coughs> after we save, or let we live longer. Okay? And like I say, um, the World Body Better Pass program, Gentry program, we don't do now for over two years, our 46 session days, and today we did with asthma. Today, on Sunday, the 5th of June, 2022, and our Dr. MZ Kamara, eh, say Kamara, MZ Ture, now in the present to me today. I want you for take pride in Dr. Ture as alone he practice, as alone he study, and he practiced there for a while, so that's what for be very, very proud of. But we'll give him time when he's ready for present, he will talk a little bit about himself. And the class in America now on a host, I mean, I'm John Fuller, okay? And at the panel, when I get few people within it, we are some of the nurses, some of the doctors in, you know, in various fields, you know, get pharmacists, you know, get people really talk about food and how to look at dieting and stuff like that, okay? And like I've been saying before, the group is made up of different medical professionals. Me, not they work within medicine. I don't do anything for the medicine. Me, not IT, I do work in. And um, the program we do um, in Creo, and the people who do this program, non power we know they get paid. As a matter of fact, now we they put money into this. So, dear, we found them, we they ask, let us take this seriously. That thing we people and they pay for, now and we they do so for free. And also, they ask if anybody gets the way for let this program reach your people in our salon, dear, come forward, let we see how best we could do for get them to people. And we not go charge for the program. All we need to try for do now for make sure see the majority of people in our salon, we really need this program that they will benefit from it. Okay. Like I said before, the recording name of the program will be on YouTube, will be on Facebook, and also if you are reach out to, we can reach out to you on the WhatsApp. Okay, we get WhatsApp group if you are, we add you this, so at least we will send you a reminder, let you know, go forget. You just get in touch with you via WhatsApp, we will add you in the group, okay? But if you get any questions, suggestions, or feedback, anything you want to say to me, reach out to me now, yeah. okay? Now, like I said before, um, during the presentation, we will ask the people not ask questions, but at the end, we will give people enough time for them to ask, the way we go do one, if you look on your WhatsApp, now if um, you zoom now your phone, if you look, you go button there. If you click on that button, then you will see this bit. Then you can use the chat for talk to we, just in case some of we not bold enough, or maybe the environment is already noisy. So you can text we and ask any question or give any feedback we want during the live program. But also, if you want to ask question, you can use this button there for raise your hand. But if you don't have to use this button for raise your hand, you can raise your hand physically. If I see you, I will come to you. Give me fan them. If I not come to you quick, it not means say I ignore you. If say if you ace your hand physically, if I not come to you quick, it means it maybe I not see you quick, or you, um, other people are not raise their hand before you, but it not means I ignore you. So I will ask you, dear, keep your hand up. Last year, I will not just say I don't see you and then when the time comes, I will make you ask a question. Okay. Okay, they say if you get any questions, suggestion, or feedback, you can go now. Send me a, you can send me an email, but also you can send me WhatsApp. And also, if you're also interested, you feel say you can add value. So you know, a medical professional, maybe you know, a lab technician, or maybe you know, a doctor or a nurse. You feel say you want to join the team, please reach out. We will talk to you through the process how for you know which you will do for joining the team. Okay, but also if you feel say no, you don't want to join the team, you just want to give a one-off presentation. We also welcome that to go sit down with you, have a discussion, and see what you want to present. Mm -hmm. We will support you in the possibility of that happening. Okay, so without further ado, I can do now over now to Dr. Today. We will take Kuna through the session. Dr. Today? Yes. Okay, so Pambule, I do want to thank you for coming join me again today for another Well Body Better Pass Gentry program. And as how uh, Mr. Fuller don't say, we they do this thing without any payment as a philanthropic job we they do for sensitize with people about uh, health program and health things that they happen. And uh, more especially asthma, um, the awareness of asthma, I know it did, but maybe you know um, too much, uh, you know, grasp on that much well 
in we community or either we didn't neglect them. So today we can talk about asthma when uh, um, and in the third of May this year they celebrate uh, World Asthma Day. And um, I came in a doctor now, uh, they in Manchester, they yeah, are work in orthopedics for a while, and then uh, now uh, they in general practice. So um, I will start. Okay, so again, I know uh, Mr. Fuller um, say it and they mute everybody, but I uh, think say we for unmute people them so that we just get a little bit of interaction. Uh, just a few questions that they ask before we they start, just as an icebreaker. I know asthma is very common, but I just want to ask among the audience, what we understand about asthma? Or if we get anybody, we get asthma and which experience we get. What are we understanding about asthma? Any taker? Me not get asthma actually, but I get picking the get asthma. Okay. And one of the things that what I observed during the years, um, then they get, um, well, sometimes they can get easily upset. Then that one of the triggers. Then, then they get um, uh, breathing difficulties, you know, I would say, yes. So first thing get for you, the inhaler, the brown and, is it blue? Yes. Yes. Brown yes. and blue, yes. yes. So like I you talk me, firstborn is 23 now, and uh, it still gets them, it still gets them. We feel say maybe it starts first, not just maybe something after a while, it they go, but it still gets them at this age, so yeah. Okay, that's very good. That's a very good summary um, of, 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 you know, of, of asthma. Um, okay. Yeah. I have asthma. Oh, um, oh, um. I've had asthma and I've had it since 2003 when I was diagnosed. Um, I have a dark red uh, inhaler mm -hmm. and then I have, um, oh, good. yeah, uh, the winter time's the worst for me. And when it's damp like this, mm. get me breathing mm. um, and that. But... I'll show you, Miss Ray. That's the one. All right. That one. Yeah. yeah. And I, I can't see clearly. Is that the blue one? No, that's the green one. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I mean, so you you must have got um, a bit of an experience. Uh, you've experienced asthma, so you you're using your medication. So we'll go through this um, whole topic, and I hope uh, it will be of benefit to you and to everybody else listening here. Okay, so like how Anne don't say, and also uh, Chaman don't say, you know, asthma na a condition way a pretty much common um now condition where they affect the lungs and the airway so now a condition where they cause problem with breathing they get strong difficulty in breathing and a condition where you not get any care at all you go only manage them or controlling symptoms but you know they cure them. People in day where they can get them, picking and they get them from where they're small. And also some people in they get them later on in adult life. Like uh, in example, uh, and don't give we. Then picking you know, then people when they can get out when they're young, then most cases can grow out of them. But that no means they're not going to get again later in life. 
Like in grout or fan, they no go need for use any inhaler and anything. The normal activity, the activities they go as normal. But later in life, so they can get back for gone for get them. But person we get asthma in an adult life, it can turn for delta maybe almost throughout in life. So let lo we know it in a asthma in the first place. Let we know the studies so far where they don't show about asthma. Um, you have you get over three million people around the world we get asthma, and in 2019 about 450,000 almost half a million people die of asthma alone. I mean the UK the population of 60 million you get 12 percent of that population gets asthma, so one in 11 picking there or one in 12 adults then get asthma in the UK. And according to WHO, and which is quite true, asthma they mostly the under diagnose them and with a treat them on that under treat and under diagnose in more in the developing countries. In Africa, amongst the so many conditions they only neglect, asthma are the one where they top in the list where people in the neglect. And so even forget studies them involving asthma in certain countries in, 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 in Africa is difficult. So according to a study we um, then do in a, um, a high level study in some countries then in Africa, uh, between, 2000, in, between 1990 to 2010, they see the trend of asthma in the population of Africans then. And just in 1990, you get 94 million people then then get asthma. And of these, you get 34 million winner picking the under 15 years and 64 million winner like 45, people holding the under the age of 45. And when they do this study, again, 2000, that figure rise up from 94 million, from 74 million to 94 million, as soon as I can see. And again, in 2010 in Duam, that figure do rise up again to 119 million people there. Get them in asthma. So this clearly they should say the asthma they on the rise, they on the increase. And even the WHO don't say by 2025 globally, they get 100 million more people there get forget asthma. Now, if you take a, 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 um, asthma within the, the, the ethnic ethnic groups, you find out, say, like, you know, we don't get much studies in Africa, but the African Americans then um, should say they get about 10.6% of the black. Afri black uh, and people in Africa, in, in USA, then get asthma uh, as opposed to the whites when are 7.6%. And the African and American, they get five times more chance for le a visit the emergency department due to asthma symptoms than the, 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 the non-black. Um, uh, uh, um, and the chance of a black person dying of asthma is three times more likely than the white person, you see. So um, these statistics, they show we say in a condition way a day in a, in a community, but we they actually underestimate this condition here. So which is why we do them program there for let people understand about this condition and see within then we will do for help themselves and help their family. Now, low no in asthma. Asthma, just, um, um, I mean, a couple of sessions then before, and um, before pandemic, I think um, Rugi make a, a session where he talk about how le motama we know we self, you know, the function of the, of the organs in the body. So let's just go through this briefly. How the lungs, they work. When you take, when you um, and breathe in air, it will go through your nose. The nose itself, it gets air there with the one in the moisten the air it they clear the air so that the air with the car inside you you your windpipe they become a clear clean air way free of dust although if the environment becomes so dusty it may be not the air not able for clear all of that but this air they come through this uh, windpipe they call it trachea and it, it divides into two you're gonna both long stem and as they go it continue for branch 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 like the branch na a tree and it reach na a end we then call like a balloon like we then call alveoli. Now the last part of that branch branch they then call them um, bronchial. 
So that na like the wind, the pipe, basically. That pipe is surrounded by muscles, as you can see now. That muscle day in somebody we we no get asthma, it they work normal, nothing they trigger them, it they day, it open the pipe for let air they come inside. Now, somebody will get asthma, that pipe day, they become very sensitive. The muscles that we surround that pipe day, they become very, very sensitive. So when it becomes sensitive, it can make the muscle day stiff and then the pipe lock. And that they cause some of the symptoms that we'll get for can talk shortly. Now that essence of that pipe day now for bring the air right through to this balloon, we didn't call the alveoli, but like grapes fruit now. Now now that balloon day now day the oxygen where they come through that air now they the exchange for carbon dioxide and waiting they make bring come that oxygen day and exchange it now your blood cells, your red blood cells. So then they now they send the information go to now the brain, tell the brain say. Okay, I get enough oxygen or I don't get enough oxygen, then that will allow you for let you breathe normal or you breathe fast. Or in some way it affects it cause again for let you 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 heart beat faster. So this basic now the basic thing where they happen in normal breathing. And as I don't mention, in asthma, within the happen with somebody get asthmatic attack, that pipe they become so stiff, the muscle they become stiff and tight as opposed to being relaxed. Instead of it allow the air for go through normal, it they become blocked. So it not the, what's a block normally say nothing they go do. It is reducing size and then it, 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 it restrict the air for go through. And then it turn like where you the whistle, where they blow whistle. Because where they blow whistle, the air where they go through is small. So that they get that whistling sound. So that night they get the wheezing sound. Now, in addition to that, all that thing they happen back, it they make this pipe, they become inflamed. You know, not you know, get infection, but it inflamed means a red and it swell. Then on top of that, it they produce mucus. So then mucus, then the way they produce inside, sometimes can be just clear mucus. Then they make people who then get asthma, then they cough. And when then they cough, it, it, it irritates them. The, 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 the airway, it make them cough, then produce them mucus then they. In most cases, it not means saying an infection they day. Except maybe when the color begin change, that not the time they begin things say some term infection don't develop inside. Um, so then they will look for, for treatment. So this is very important, I had to explain this because the way we'll get for talk about how they will manage asthma, we need treatment or manage them, a, in, involved into within the apnea. Now, within the apnea, the symptoms now, the symptoms that somebody they get depend on how much this pipe here narrow. The more narrow it is, the more the symptoms they get and the more life-threatening it is. So if you, you, you the, the pipe normally not narrow that much, like this way, the air they go through. But when it become more and more narrow, within the happen, it they begin cough like how they talk, it they begin to get wheezing symptoms, and also you chest they become so tight and you breathing they become so difficult. Okay, so in the mild asthmatic condition, you will get them kind of symptoms and they, they happen. Now, as, as the narrowing become more and more, now that case, they now all them things I wouldn't talk about the cough, the wheeze, the breathing, the chest tightness, they become more severe. It becomes so severe that you sometimes you know they even able for complete a one single sentence like how they talk to. That the sign for sure in a life threatening condition now. Uh, or it will be even if they eat, you know, we before complete the food way they eat. Then your heart they beat fast. So like I'll be the talk about that oxygen, that oxygen we the exchange na that pipe, na that end in that balloon thing. Now in the go na the brain, it tell the center na the brain say, 
I need more oxygen. So the center, they tell the, 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 the side where they're responsible for breathing, say, I need more oxygen so that the muscle, you know, around your chest, they move faster so that you're able for bringing more air. And one of the boost muscle, now one of the muscles we separate the chest and the belly, they call and diaphragm. They move up and down, up and down, up and down for layer, you will get more air. If you reach the stage, you're not know, able, you will send message back to the heart, say, I need more and blood supply here so that you will get more oxygen. So the heart back begin beat faster and faster and faster. And if you reach a stage still, you know, the narrowing still there, they don't try to do anything for relief. Huh? You see the person in, in fingers and begin the blue or in lips, they begin the blue, they begin the change in color. So then they now a more the life threatening situation. So now that basically can happen when somebody get serious asthmatic attack they become so drowsy confused and um, and 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 even sleeping you know way before sleep properly now one thing we need to know is that the asthmatic symptoms almost of the symptoms that they happen the wheezing the cough can happen in other condition but the asthmatic symptoms they happen just like that when you're exposed to trigger we'll get for talk about uh, uh, shortly or um it can happen randomly like some people have mentioned you know, in cold winter situation, you get more of your symptoms. It can happen randomly. It can happen during the night and in the morning. And again, you get differentials. Then things that we can happen. You know, people then we um, then then get wheezing. It can happen. Say something. You get COPD or a bit say you get foreign body night 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 lungs. So other things that can happen. If you cough, it's just ordinary and uh, uh, condition like reflux, um, they cause or heartburn. Severe one can cause cough. So this all not time for sure say you get for see your doctor uh, let your doctor will go examine you properly. So if they not do nothing when this person day in this situation now yeah it will end up it will end up now emergency department or ICU or ITU where they will need for gear and nebulizers they need for three time and if they not do all that day that person they die. The cow don't talk in the initial stage half almost half a million people then die of asthma in 2019 and even when the co uh, when the covid come the people who are asthmatic they even become more vulnerable you see now what thing that happen in picking them in picking them then they cough then they wheeze then get short of breath but the thing that we you for notice if you work with picking them or you get picking at us if you see a nose they move widely up and down up and down up and down then they call a nasal flaring that na sign for sure say that picking in breathing difficult a get problem within lungs that na emergency sign and then you can see the picking belly they go up and down up and down because as i mentioned that muscle where really they separate the chest and the tummy they call a diaphragm they move up and down up and down they move the chest up the, the belly up and down up and down instead of the chest moving up and down and the picking and the belly they move up and down then a sign again for sure say the picking really they struggle in it air it will reach a stage if they're not do nothing for that picking the picking become tired even the cry say if you're not going to cry complete so that not a warning sign again now waiting waiting at the cause of this uh, in most cases, it's difficult for them to know the cause of somebody with get asthma. And in some people, them, they will be able to know the trigger. But we think studies don't show say people that we, the, the parents or their mama, they may smoke when they get belly. The chance for letting get asthma is very high. And picking the them born premature before, uh, you know, 37 weeks, then get high chance for get asthma because their lungs not well developed. And picking the way, then they now also way everybody they smoke, or you get one even just one person they smoke. That picking they get passive smoking, you get chance where it go up later on, it will develop asthma. Asthma can run in a family, you know, um, and so 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 people then can get atopic conditions. Eh? Like now now in 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 Europe, you know, um, or even in, in in Africa, you get people who then get food allergy, hay fever, and eczema. All the things in the people who get them, the chance for let them develop asthma is very high, and and equally so in in Africa you get people with you know the warm infection, the asthma. So the warm infection, can, people who they get boku boku warm infection, it can make again people they get um, asthma in that perspective, and then some people in their way then they walk, um, then walk due to the type of job they get, and they make them 
let them develop asthma. And then kind people within the work on them and then die industry or then paint industry, then paint the print, paint get some chemical really called isocyanate, where it can in, 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 trigger then condition in the or they work at the work on a flower industry or latex so they deal with animal and, 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 and even nurses and, and, and pharmacists because of the chemicals and things that they use, it can expose them to the thing in the day. Um, so the high chance for lay. If you let you get asthma, if you they work in any kind of condition in the day, how normally you go know say you asthma na, as a result of you work with they do. If you notice, say you they get this cough, 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 wheeze, wheeze, cough, cough, and when you go on holiday, the cough and wheeze is off. Or when you deny host, the cough and wheeze is off. That they should say you host your workplace, maybe in the ingo being the, the main reason why you they get your symptoms. So neither the, the, the cause of your asthma. Okay, waiting at the triggers they will get. The list is so long, we can spend one whole day or even two, three, four hours just for talk about the list of things that will they trigger that most that tube, that most way they round the tube, what they talk about, where they make your lungs become sensitive. Exercise. Exercise sometimes can trigger your symptoms. Like, um, however, I must state here say. Anybody with in asthma well control, it can do exercise without, uh, uh, without any symptoms, if in asthma well control. So a uh, begin get asthma, not to a, a reason for letting not do exercise. You get sports people uh, when uh, uh, asthmatic them, but then they take their medications them. Um. During uh, uh, times where they get the pollen, the hay fever, you know, um, then pollen so within the spread all throughout they irritate you, 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 your lungs. Then people away that they host, sometimes you get boku things and within the clutter the house, sometimes in the parlor, in the room, you get a um, box yanda, cartoon yanda, you get uh, uh, um, different things that they inside the house, they clutter the house, it increase, you know, the, the environment in that room or that house, they, 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 they not become suitable for somebody who get asthma. And even sometimes they get cockroach them or anch them or chinch them, insect them, they come at the place. Then they all, they expose you for they get your asthma symptoms. Perfume, just perfume sometimes can trigger some man the, the, the asthma. Cold weather during winter, it, it can do that. Dust, like in Africa, most places in the north, um, you know, get tan and most places them. Um, so the car they pass with dust and everything, the high dust environment, then they, they make people and trigger asthma. And some even people and they develop asthmatic symptoms as a result. And then one of the problems landing in Africa, because um, you get more urbanization, people then they left the provinces, they kind of free town or then they kind of the big cities them. Then big cities become so congested now with the dust and with all everything. So people with an option, they normally not be, they, they, they know, they long be sensitive, but nobody they get asthma symptoms. When they come to the city, they begin to develop asthma symptoms. And with the smoking again, smoking, we know, we, we smoking of course, is not good in itself, apart from the, the cancer and other things that we the little, but again, it will trigger you asthma. If you smoke of somebody they around you with the smoke, uh, or the smell of the person, or just somebody will just vex no more, you know, become angry and stressed, then they can trigger asthma. So as I said, the list is so long, we maybe not be able for, for, for talk about all the list, but now most of them things and they and and top among them again is pets. Pets, the fall of the pets sometimes can trigger the asthma of some people. Then. Now, um, of all which I don't talk so, we'll just uh, make a, a, a short video, let people uh, uh, get a summary of which I don't talk. This animation will show what happens in the lungs during an asthma attack, and how a reliever inhaler works to treat it. Click the animation arrows below the animation screen to play, pause, rewind, or fast forward the animation. Air or oxygen is taken in through the mouth and nose. It then passes through the trachea to the bronchi. Asthma is a condition where the airways become irritated and inflamed. The bronchi are large tubes which are found in the lungs. Air flows through these tubes. The 
the bronchi branch and narrow into tubes called bronchioles. The bronchioles continue to branch and end with tiny air sacs called alveoli. In healthy lungs, oxygen is taken into the body through the bronchi and passes into the blood via the alveoli. If you have an asthma attack, you may start wheezing. Your chest may feel tight and you may be breathless. The muscles in the walls of the airways tighten and the inner surface swells, causing the airways to narrow. An asthma attack is triggered by exercise or an allergy, for example, both of which can irritate the airways. When the airways narrow, it's harder to breathe. Reliever inhalers are used to widen the airways so you can breathe more easily if you have an asthma attack. The inhaler contains a gas which propels the medicine into the airways so that the muscle walls relax and the airways open up. When the airways widen, it's easier to breathe. This is the end of the animation. You click on the animation screen to watch it again. Okay, so I hope say this uh, summarize and explain all within um, uh, just don't talk. Um, so now how we go diagnose asthma. The first thing and most importantly is the story where they go tell you doctor or you practitioner, pharmacist or you nurse. That story they very very vital, a very important. And I no go emphasize how more important it is, especially in Africa, where we get less so of the diagnostic tools then. So the story where you dig need for be correct and you need no need for exaggerate them or you no need for underplay them. Tell your practitioner, a doctor, the correct story, how the, the, the breathe, the breathing pattern. If you get you picking, what you notice about them, you tell them how it, it, the breathing, the cough and all that. That story, they very important. They help the practitioner for begin think, say, maybe asthma or for begin looking to them. Because you get so many other things that they cause cough. You get so many things that they cause uh, wheezing. Okay, so not anybody we you listen to in chest, you get crackles or you get um, wheeze, inspirational wheeze means in asthma. It can be saying a COPD, COPD is a condition we happen in elderly people, and mostly people where they exposed to smoke. That condition different from asthma. In, in COPD, the lung itself damage due to the smoke. You know, in asthma, irreversible, not just sensitive, the lungs be sensitive. You get other condition like tracheomalacia, uh, you get condition with foreign body, even they, they deny your lungs, so they begin with they swallow things, them can cause wheeze, and also chest infection, pneumonia can cause crackles and sometimes wheeze. So that no means in an asthma you get, and people away, then tell them go see doctor, they get pneumonia or some other of this related condition, they get one inhaler, then feel see each time now we then cough, then for the get an inhaler. That's not the case. And also some people then begin cough. As they begin cough today, tomorrow I don't go and go to a GP for the like GP go get antibiotics. Not all cough necessarily need antibiotics. And the way the door misuse antibiotics during this COVID period because everybody they cough, 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 cough. So most of them are virus, but they still the pressure and push for letting get the antibiotics we get even other consequences. So you need to get the story to your doctor. Your doctor examine you, okay? And sometimes when the doctor they examine, the examination can be normal. It can be say, you know, you know, listen, nothing. That we is where they listen. If asthma don't become so, so bad, it's so severe, we then call silent chest. The doctor need one we is. Okay? And also, uh, maybe the time we go see the doctor, that's in the, you know, get the trigger. So you know, get the wheeze. So that if in examination normal, not necessarily means say you know get asthma, okay, and so which is why now it's in a working. If you for make a working diagnosis for diagnosis, you need so many other things them where we need for do apart from um, apart from just history and examination. But in Africa and in other developing country, you know get the tools them the history and the examination are the key thing that they. So what's the other thing they would then use? You get this 
a peak flow where you can see you, your nurse, your doctor, or pharmacist will give you for let you take na os, let you go to do reading panam. And based on that peak flow day, whilst you did, you did do that peak flow day, you get for draw a graph. Now it gets a slide at the end, at, the, at one end here, we get for put to zero. When you take a tight seal around this and you blow like how this woman they blow, it they give you your reading we na that reading in na the amount of air within a long for that minute for that time and so you nurse or pharmacist or doctor we go see they calculate with na you normal peak flow and what it they do it they give you this for maybe a week or two and they give you a graph what you they put on in the morning you put your reading na net you put your reading up to a week it is see the pattern how it is change normally the morning and evening Peak flow, it will change naturally for every human being. But if it change more than twenty percent, that that should say na a, na a clue with the gate again say there is suspicion of asthma there. And if you see like this graph here, when the person starts for take the inhalers now, you see the way the pattern they go. It almost become like not a complete straight line, but you know zigzag like how it be there at the start where you know they take medication. So that's a one way within the investigator. The other way now for do a blowing test would then call spirometry. Now this spirometry may not readily available in some countries, in some places, although it may, every, every center you go now, you go get them, you know, some places they get them, but some side they, you know, they will forget them. This wire, you the blow inside it for take all the air inside you lung through this tube here into this machine and the machine, they give a graph. Then they, they give, they, of course, in the block, you know, then they, they give the amount of air away you day in a lung. And based on that, they're able to diagnose whether you get asthma or not. They call it the FEV1, the first expiratory uh, uh, volume where you give in one uh, in, in second. So then they, then, they, then they take, you they breathe as far as you can, you can do. If you did less than 70%, then they can do another test, so they call the bronco uh, dilator reversibility test, so then they give you inhaler, then they do again and see how much you don't improve. Okay, if you don't improve after the inhaler, that again are another way where you doctor or you nurse or your pharmacist, then we're able for use for um, diagnose. So the other third way we then you do is then get what they call the phenol testing. Um, that each time where the lung become inflamed, like I've been explained before, it they produce a chemical we then call nitric oxide so that nitric oxide in now you they blow through then they measure the amount of that so you get the, the, the volume between the picking and the adult okay for adults if you get 40 and above then a sign or 35 and, uh, uh, and above if not if not picking but this test yeah okay which is why in some uh, 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 places them they're not going to do tests for people under five years maybe the picking up way for the all of the tests that they do so so mainly the history and the examination again help for picking them under five years of age sometimes they get for do trial of uh, treatment where it can be both therapeutic and diagnostic for picking them okay and they can do sometimes chest x-ray or then do allergy testing because allergy to certain things then pollen and all the things and they can expose people into asthma. Now the, the treatment or, or, or I should, should I say management, uh, like how uh, Chaman B say, you get a inhaler, then they get to possible. You get the blue one and you get the brown one, but you get different other color, like, and you know, show we different color of, of inhalers then. So the inhalers and they get different medicine inside them. Now the blue one, normally can be like a reliever. Now they open, we go inside the lung, now they reduce that tightness of the muscle around the, the airway so that the lung go open. Now this brown one, it gets steroid in them. And the essence of that steroid, why is this steroid not to the one way them bodybuilder or the other people in the tickle, okay? So the steroid, uh, with the inside here, it is an anti-inflammatory medication where they help for reduce the inflammation we they get. So when you then give this medication, whether you feel well or you don't feel well, you for always the tickam. And I for emphasize here, say this nine are the key to most of the treatment. The steroid, the way that they give you, nine are the key to most of the treatment. If you only the take them and you they avoid the triggers, then you probably not gonna need this blue one. Now, in addition to them, um, they get tablets, they give you like steroid tablets. 
So instead of the steroid inhaler, we get Eon uh, 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 this morning and evening. If you know work, then can give you steroid tablets or then give you other tablets where they call the leukotriene inhibitors like, like the Monte Lucas and stuff like that, where they all the help for open your airway. Um, but this again depend on your personalized asthma, how you then de de manage your asthma. And, and then most recently, we don't get uh, you know new injections though then they give um, with the help for treat asthma as well. And uh, if all of this not work and you still severe in asthma, then can do operation, some kind of a surgery. Now this not many people they go into that stage very, very, very minimal people in amount of people that they go into them. All we think they do now is they, they pass a tube through your throat and lungs so that they will heat up the muscle around the airway so that it will reduce them for being so sensitive and stop them for being narrow. That's all the mechanism around them. But not too many people and you get very few people who then go into that at, into that kind of treatment. Now, if you see this chart here, they show you all the different type of inhalers them. Okay. This one are the relievers them. You get different type of, of one them. You get the, the tubo inhaler, something like, something like just kind tube. Then you get the MDI one them. And you get some that like, like a dry powder. So if the reliever not work, you get other one they within the gi, like I mentioned about the steroid. If the asthma don't advise, they, they buy stages. If first they don't give the reliever, you not do nothing. They give you the steroid. It still get you symptoms. Then, then they give you a combination. Okay, of a medication where they open the lungs and also with the steroid together, right? So this one yeah, it comes in different forms. Okay, we'll get for sure now video how for use most of the wire uh, because the better if you know how for take them so that the medicine go inside you long, then they go help you symptoms to a great extent. Now, some for some people them they can shame they know how for they use them so many medication them so many inhalers and they even shame self say they get them use inhalers them. Now this uh, new treatment that they don't introduce they call and the mat therapy, the uh, maintenance and reliever therapy wherein then they give you just one inhaler, that inhaler day now you take morning and evening it acts like the brown one with the help the inflammation because it gets steroid pain. Then when your symptoms are bad, you can use that again for relieve your symptoms. Okay? But in that case, it depends on the plan where you get with your nurse or your pharmacist. The plan will not get, say, if you get symptoms, you use that mass therapy day, you use that inhaler, they say, um, two term, three term, up to six term, you don't get any improvement before they take yourself to an emergency department. If you, you improve, if you make an appointment uh, at least within 24 hours or so, let you go see your pharmacist or you or you or your asthma nurse. You know, most of these things are the, the, the pharmacist, the asthma nurse, and the associate uh, and clinicians, eh? then they do I no need for go see your GP. But I mean, if if, if you not get somebody, asthma nurse or pharmacist where they're looking to her, you can go see your doctor. We can go make appointment with them, then in Quebec for review your medication and also review it now the trigger the cause them. But then if you use and so then can you say if you use up to eight times, you still not get any improvement. And then thing they will be done, they talk about the severe asthma happen, you need for the call 999. Or if they go take yourself, go to hospital straight away. Okay. So now how for use the inhaler there? Now this one at the MDI one, well, we don't talk low, just watch a small video with the show we how we be able for use this inhaler. The patient stands or sits as straight as possible. Take the cap off the MDI and shake it six to 10 times. Hold the head in a neutral position or tilt it back slightly. Exhale out all the way to empty the lungs. Place the inhaler between the teeth over the tongue with lips sealed tightly around the mouthpiece. Aim the inhaler to the back of the throat. The patient begins to inhale slowly while firing or pressing down on the canister once. The firing should occur immediately after inhaling begins. Keep drawing air through the mouth until breathing in stops. Keep the inhaler in the mouth throughout the inhalation maneuver. 
hold breath and count slowly to 10. Release the breath slowly, relax and breathe normally. And finally, replace the cap over the mouthpiece. Okay, so um, uh, uh, for Senaya is when you don't do this, it will find for there, you rinse your mouth because the tendency there for there you get thrush in your mouth with the use because a steroid sometimes, if they, especially if they use the steroid and the brown one, you will need for there to wash your mouth. Okay, and this brown, this uh, blue inhaler, sometimes if you use it too much, it can cause your heart to beat faster. Okay, just for let people know. And now people can get watched out and they check their heartbeat and everything. Um, because now a, a bronchodilator, you get some receptors or whatever in the heart where they cause the heart to beat faster, just for let people know. Now, let me look about another uh, form where we can take this one. If you get uh, a spacer without a mask, let we look this video that is showing how we are able to take them. How to use your inhaler and spacer. Shake the inhaler for 10 seconds. Take the cap off the inhaler. Ensure the cap is off the spacer. Attach to spacer. Breathe out all the way. Close lips around mouthpiece. Press down on the inhaler. Breathe in, slow and deep. Hold your breath for 10 seconds if you can. Then breathe out slowly. If you need another puff of medicine, wait one minute, then repeat the process. Okay, so um, as I mentioned again, some people get for use and repeatedly, so you get for wait at least 30 seconds or one minute before you do it. So now let's look at another one where he get a, a mask. So you get a spacer, side for use the medication, and you get a mask round that way they put around your nose. Actually, this one are one of the best way. If you get picking, now you get for use for your picking because it make the medicine go inside and make it into a lungs much, much more better. Although you get another way back with people in Kingdom. So now we watch this video, let it tell you how they go about them. How to use your inhaler with spacer and mask. Shake the inhaler for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take the cap off the inhaler. Attach the inhaler to the spacer. Sit up straight. Place the mask over the nose and mouth. Press down on the inhaler. This puts the medicine into the spacer. Breathe in and out five to ten times. If you need another puff of medicine, wait one minute and repeat the process. <clears throat> okay, so uh, a what for we also mentioned and say, if somebody did the asthma bad, he never been able to talk, he can use these um, puffs off to up to 10 times or six times, it depends on your own personalized plan. Uh, as we mentioned at the start, we know they give treatment to anybody, but you can use up to 10 times. And if it's still not to help you, then I sign again for sure. Say you need for the go now emergency department. Um, and again, remember for wait between 30 minutes to one uh, and 30 seconds to one minute before you give another puff. No use and no stay another one. We're not like the dry powder one. We um, this video they show you how they use them, if not this kind you get. into the lungs through a dry powdered inhaler or DPI for short. Here's how older kids and teens can use a DPI. How are DPIs different from meter dose inhalers? Unlike other inhalers, which deliver a puff of medicine, 
These inhalers hold the medicine as a dry powder. Since the medicine sits inside as a powder, you have to breathe in fast and deep to get the medicine into the lungs. Place thumb on lever and push your thumb away from you as far as it will go until you hear a click. Turn your head to the side and breathe out. Do not breathe into the inhaler. Close your mouth tightly around the mouthpiece while holding the device flat. Breathe in fast and deep through the mouthpiece. Hold it like a hamburger, suck like a milkshake. After you breathe the medicine in, hold your breath for a count of 10. Then slowly breathe out. Close the device when you're finished so it will be ready for your next dose. You may not feel or taste the medicine. Rinse your mouth out with water or brush your teeth after using dry powdered inhalers. Wipe the mouthpiece with a dry cloth after each use. Always keep the dry powdered inhaler dry and never take it apart. Remember, if you have questions, call your doctor's office, asthma care team, or pharmacy. Okay. So these don't give me a, a, a clear um, description of everything now. Uh, low remember. You all are like a hamburger, and you soft like a milkshake. Milk, milk so now, all this in Elias, yeah, would it give so now for just show you how for take them. It all depend on you, your personal plan. You and your asthma, and also your pharmacist, or your GP, or your physician. When I forget your plan, when I you, your plan, we still load to you. First, you need to take note the name of the inhaler that they give you, the brown one or blue one, when are the, the prevent out one, the prevent out one, the reliever, and how many times you for use them. You for write them down now. And any other medication will you they take. If you know uh, somebody will get other medical condition, you get hypertension or whatever, you write the medication with them take now. Because some of the medication we they take might interact with the asthma. Okay, um, among the triggers, them will probably um, you know mention that, but some of the beta blockers, them or the the non-steroidal inflammatory like the ibuprofen, you know, or or or, or 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 like them propanolol. If you get a medication in it, then can cause somebody who is long sensitive become even more sensitive and trigger asthma. So we just know that. So not any kind of medicine within the cell not the, not the over the counter. If you buy, if you ask your doctor or your pharmacist or your nurse, if you rely, if, if you're good for taking the medication today, we you're not asthmatic person. Okay. So um, and then again, it's in your plan, it will tell you if you need you asthma to be triggered by exercise, what you need for do, maybe take your medication. And maybe they need for top up your medication then so that you take them before you start your exercise so that you know will stop you from your activities. Okay, because if you do, you know they do nothing because you get asthma, you need to exercise, you need to do nothing, your asthma they become worse. For a relief, them, you need for at least do some exercise, do some movement, of course, hygiene and, and diet, all lengthening they, they play a role. Okay, and also uh, um, if you the wheeze, within you should say you need for using inhaler, you the wheeze or you the cough. You just all in the while we don't talk. Uh, you need for complete your state and uh, your sentence. You you need for take your reliever first. If you not work, you sometimes you need for you do you, you, you peak flow. If you peak flow, then get for tell you what in a you normal peak flow. Say some some money was in a 500. If it's less than 50% of that, that should say you you ask my don't attack don't come. We you need for, for speak to somebody. And I don't explain about this math therapy with the one medication you use both as a reliever and a preventer because you get two medications inside it. And one, the, not all inhalers, they license for that. Only inhalers will get a medication we then call fumiterol. If you meet your doctor or your pharmacist or your nurse, they will explain that to you. Okay, and also if uh, this is not just a wide version of the personalized plan where you can get, the thing where things are very essential here, now for no low we no say, if you relieve a medication, not they help you, you they talk, you never for complete you talk, you they breathe, you never you, you they breathe faster than normal, your chest becomes so tight, you pick flow less than 50, than an emergency sign. And if you use up to 10 puffs, it's still no improvement. Now you sign for one at the emergency department. I cannot emphasize this more. So you will use math, you get your own different plan. Now, which are the complications with the apple? 
if you get asthma, you feel tired all the time. You know, the, 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 some, some people are anemic, they even become anemic sometimes, but most times they become so tired and picking the weight and get asthma, then they perform, some, some of them will perform well in that school, especially if they, they uh, um, treat the asthma properly. And if they walk, sometimes you could get for the left, you walk, if, especially if you're not self-employed somebody and you get asthma, you not treat them properly, you're not taking, take them seriously, it will affect your job. And the stress, anxiety, and depression can be a complication of asthma, then it can be a reason back for the asthma get worse. So it become a vicious cycle, lung infection can worsen your asthma, and again, it can be a complication of asthma. So sometimes they give rescue medication, um, when a steroid and some antibiotics, they give you signs when you for take the medication and they, if with a cough, the cough become changing color, green, brown, and all them things, and they maybe you will need for taking antibiotics. Sometimes you don't need antibiotics. All you need is a steroid tablet you need. You know, if somebody get asthma, they know just the rush for the take antibiotics left, right, and center because he's more prone to them infections and they in need for only take them when needed. Okay, and again, it make you not know, able for do your job. You know, it's all it takes. You get because you get to get asthma attack. You get for go see your job, GP or pharmacist, or on the picking they you get asthma because sometimes you use so much steroid and stuff. It affects them growth. If you not do nothing, like I'll show that picture, it could be life threatening to this extent that the person can die. Now, what is the problem we get with asthma in Africa? In Africa, most people them, um, not just in Africa in the whole world, most people then they left the rural places. Then they go na the na the city centers. Eh? You know, if you go, I'm sure that do ever go free town now. You go see how much jam packed it is. Everybody don't come up line, all man don't come free town. All that urbanization they cause the more asthma people and they get asthma symptoms and they get exposure to, you know, they get asthma. Now, the diagnostic equipment, them, we not get them. Most of them things they don't talk about, you know, are readily available. Not, not everywhere in Africa are available. Only the well-to-do people in Gwebu for afford them, you know. So then they make the diagnosis difficult. Not that say they know people are not there for diagnosis, huh? but you need their in equipment they for diagnosis. Huh? So they're not there. So it make it difficult for diagnosis, so which is why the history and the story where they tell the doctor in the examination, now then they know more than get for rely on. And also the staff then they but they're not enough. The, the number of trained staff then they know but who the medication again is costly. Not all everybody able for afford them. No, and, and some places then they, they in the life they, if they move from one stage to the other, they advance, you know, you know, available. You see, and as I've mentioned, but uh, this ailment business they warms them, just like how people wouldn't get eczema. They expose, then get eyes for their uh, asthma and all that. And because warm infection so high, they, it, it can cause people in back to get asthma. So, what in studies they show, say, you get what they call uh, hypersensitivity reaction really happen. You know, it, it, it stimulates the warm infection, they stimulate your immune system. You know, type two immune response, which can lead to the uh, um, um, problem in there with asthma. You see, and then we don't get enough. Of organization reading will get a health promotion in it, which is why we did do this one. You know, that's why the well body better pass gentry program day for let we sensitize people and let them know say this thing they happen, you know, waiting, waiting, waiting people and for do. And the triggers then the environmental things that you know get then then uh, and public health thing you know, we we'll talk about occupational dust, air pollution, and all that thing, and they then go day, but they're not much. You see, so which is why we do all them programming. So now that the problem is with people in the face in Africa about treating and, and asthma. If you live with asthma, the take home advice is this. You use the inhaler correctly. You prevent a medication every day, whether you feel well or not, you take them. Check any medicine before you take medicine. Avoid smoke. Continue for exercise. Asthma no means you're not supposed for exercise. Continue for exercise. Normal, healthy diet. We don't need to talk that over and over, a helpful and essential for every medical condition you need to think about. And you flu jabs them, COVID vaccine, pneumococcal vaccines, flu jabs, if they take every year, because all that need to help you for prevent you for letting you not know, get the asthmatica because now control with the control arm. Waiting at the aim of all the management, you know, uh, um, the aim one now for control your symptoms, 
Two, they prevent you for let you know get exacerbation or flare up of your symptoms. Three, a, 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 the, the peak fluid they do so, let it be more than 80% instead of a good less than 50%. That peak flow I'll be talk about. And also it minimize or reduce the side effect. So they, they make it, they, they tailor the thing to you. They tailor the treatment towards you. See? So again, try for avoid the triggers. Do you regular every year? Do you regular checkups? And finally, I will emphasize again, if you know able, if you breathe in, they become difficult. You're not able for complete your sentence. Your peak flow less than 50, and for going to emergency department. So with this, I will tell you, thank you for listening. As we can always say, well, body better pass gently. So I tell you all, thank you. Well, we're happy for uh, any questions or any discussion or any contribution. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Dr. Tutuye. Wow. <clears throat> As another year, um, as man, as until we we know either we only talk about them much in our community, or we don't know much about them, because some of we um, don't get some dealings with them. Um, like how um, Chema Kaloko been saying before, Mrs. Self gonna me um, be picking them. They suffer for um, for asthma. And what one of the questions I want to ask though, Doctor T, um, is um, the the reason for this sickness in a black community is different to white by any chance and also when it comes to the statistics of it you know how much you think say, they affect a black community compared to the white if if you know that if you know they can say black people not let go for test <laughs> exactly exactly so basically the the, the difficult force forget the studies them we they show, you know, say this is the prevalence of asthma. You know, the studies will get to a very few countries in Africa, which will come up, you know, they do a systematic review, they call it. You, you, when they do studies, you get, it like a pyramid, you get the top of the pyramid, the at top of the pyramid are the systematic review of them people and they were, them figures and they were big initially. Um, some countries are like in Salon, I don't, I don't know, I doubt if we ever get, you know, a study we don't show, say this is not the prevalence, it may be there or not. So because of that, people are not able, we need to know it's not the thing. Um, the, the black, if you say the, uh, in America, the non-Hispanic um, black community, black community, they get high chance of getting asthma, 40% chance high of forgetting asthma than the non-Hispanic white community. And uh, as I mean, they say, if you take uh, in the statistics, we get for rely on the black Americans then, 10.6 or so percent of the black people then, then get the non-Hispanic black, then they get asthma, while it's just 7.6% of white then get them. Now, going to say the reasons uh, different, sometimes we don't know the cause, Okay, but mostly not it, it geared towards the triggers then. Mm. Like the triggers they will be they talk about. So yeah. in Africa, you know, the dust, we know it there. And most communities, the clutter, the house, the room and everything, the insects and all those things then. Okay. Now pets they but not as common as in, in, in maybe in Europe where you know people get so many pets and stuff like yeah. they expose them. Smoking day, it then both sides, okay. Um, although it may, may not be as high, you know, some community for religious reason or whatever, they don't go smoke or whatever it is, as opposed to Europe. But mostly it's just about the triggers. And as I've been mentioned, but warm infection, okay, warm infection more common in Africa than, yeah. than in, in this part of the world. And because of that type two immune response and stuff like that, then they can, can, can predispose we forget the internet. So it's just about the risk factors basically. And because we need to do studies, so we don't know, but they really high in the community. And just finally, what for say here is the chance for let the black person will go in that emergency department with asthma symptoms. We know even no say you get asthma is five times higher than, than, the, than the white person because maybe sometimes awareness and all them things in there. And the chance for let the black person die of asthma is three times higher than the white person. So, which means it's high in, in every in every angle. So we just need for um, take a and the diagnostic difficulty as I be the talk. 
you know, you get asthma for long, long, long. You know, big big person you know, go near asthma, say you get asthma. Pass where you go meet a doctor or somebody we go probe into asking so many things. You think of so many differentials there. He said, maybe now asthma is supposed to get low, do a trial of treatment. They begin to see improvement. And so, man, we don't take another episode, we don't get better. It don't end the doctor, no, not to party game. Exactly. <laughs> um, basically, um, this tier where we really talk about dust and the temperature of different environments, um, me not in shame for see that, but <clears throat> basically, if I did an environment we warm, see, I didn't say warm. The moment I step out, if it's cold, I did begin sneeze. So I know that thing there about myself, so I be careful how they do things. But there's another thing as well. If I did UK, even though I be the play ball, um, while I play, I find. But if I did UK, I'm gonna feel also I grass buckle or maybe pollen buckle, I did get hay fever. However, if I go back home, I don't care how much dust blow. The dust go blow till they creep about of my nose. That's what they do me. But the moment I did, there's an issue. Yeah, because you 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 don't know you trigger already. That's the hay fever. You're long sensitive to dandy. You know, you're long, really sensitive to dandy. Um, you're not sensitive to the other things there. So it depends what thing you know, that you sensibly know, say, this thing, um, um, what they call me, so I will get for avoid this. And people know they get allergic rhinitis, okay, where uh, in a different condition, of course, the hay fever and all and things and they, where can coexist, or sometimes, you know, even get asthma, but not just the allergic rhinitis we get, where it need a you know, different way of treatment with the antihistamines and everything, because that uh, hypersensitivity reaction, then thing and they, they produce, Chemical called immunoglobulin E and IgE, they stimulate chemicals when they call mast cells, they cause them swelling and all that thing. It's more prone, you know, somebody will get hay fever and all that thing. So it can be said, now you get, you know, get dandy. So in most studies there, and most uh, uh, um, 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 lectures, when they say if you treat the hay fever well, well, your asthma sometimes to be treated as well. Thank you very much. So at least before I'm going down the way, they close to me. Well, I know they say that because of me nose, now I make I can be sneezed. So there's an issue. There's a real issue. <laughs> yes, Anne. <laughs> Anne, can you unmute yourself, please? You got to today. That was very brilliant yeah. Um, yeah. presentation. Um, I found that my asthma in winter is worse because of the damp weather and I'm also prone to chest infections um, and I've got long COVID as well so that doesn't help. Um, I take Mon Montelukas and very good. <laughs> but um yeah since i've had the, the covid it seems to you know i've got worse so the clip i've shown you they've just up that to a yeah. new one not long since I've been to see my asthma nurse yeah yeah so, but it is it's been very helpful uh, yeah. things how how to use your equipment. Yeah, how to use your equipment and uh, also make you aware of certain things. Very good. Thank you so much, Anne, for your contribution. That's a very good contribution. You know, I'm glad you're using the, you know, the the, the space out of the mask. You know, most people don't want to use it. <laughs> you see, yeah. so you, you're doing well to ensure that you get more of the uh, and, and, and medicine get into your lungs and that that helps you and and what thing we need to know is that um, there are some people who do have asthma and as well do have uh, COPD so you have what we call asthma COPD syndrome and they may have both of these you know coexisting but as you do in your annual asthma checks that um, help you know, and I'm sure they'll be doing your regular uh, um, peak flow uh, maybe in a year or so or, 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 or a spirometry or, or, or stuff just to make sure that you, you have the, the correct treatment. And uh, because you, you're prone to um, infections, the lungs, you've got lung COVID and at the same time, so you've got asthma, 
yeah, that may not make things nice. So the inflammatory process is what we need to ensure that that's well controlled. So with your steroid medications, and 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 in some cases, as I mentioned in the presentation, we do give rescue medication. Yeah. Medications, which are, when you wish your wheezing becomes so bad, sometimes that's the first thing you need to take. You know, and you can only use the antibiotics when the, the you know the, the, well we we use that as a guide. You know, when the color of your sputum or phlegm changes, sometimes you don't need that just yeah. the steroid will help the inflammatory process and then that will make, make uh, you get back to your normal activities. But also, well, Dr. Yeah. Ray, yeah. I yeah. have a small uh, nebulizer, but I only take it when I really need it. And that helps yeah. it because when my chest gets really tight, mm -hmm. it kind of opens the lungs and yes, it makes exactly. me feel better. Exactly. The, the nebulizer help. When you go to the emergency department, that's the very first thing they'll they they give you. Uh, once they've listened to your chest, they know that there is uh, inspiratory, you know, wheezing and you know, they, they give you the nebulizers. And if that doesn't work, sometimes they may even resort to giving, you know, magnesium and stuff like that. So, um, so you're managing things well at home. So, so just keep to what you're doing. Uh, hopefully things will get better. But thanks for your contribution. Thank you. Can I just say that uh, Anne used to work with Dr. Kamara and myself. Uh, and Dr. Kamara has been extremely helpful in teaching me how to manage and watch for her syndromes. And he also Brilliant. knows Anne's uh, symptoms very, very close. That's very good. That's very good to hear. That's very good to yeah. hear. Thank you, yeah. Brian. It's helped me to manage and to notify, to notice when she's uh, in distress and to bring it in even quicker now. So I know exactly what to look yes. for. Thank you for your excellent presentation. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both. Um, can you? Can you? I'm here. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thank you very much for this wonderful presentation because Mr. said had a battle with asthma as well. So uh, my question, I get two questions. Are they use everything where they say? I get me, as you can see, doctor. The yes. pit flow, I get them. But they also put this laminos uh, uh, once in a while. Then I use the blue and the brown and what look at. Mm. But my question is, how wait to make anything when I move in a place where get floor, like this uh, carpet, mm. it a trigger, I they always take more blue, it they make her take more blue. We, I normally, if I didn't have, I don't want to leave the house where get floor, but the carpet, I don't know how the carpet, what's in the carpet there for do with my asthma? Then I mean, question. Okay, the, the carpet can get you know, the dust where they come off from there because the carpet they keep up dust. Mm -hmm. you know? So, you find out something when you move home, uh, but people in the transfer because in the, the end, the, the area we just put the carpet and everything off, lock the one old house, we can't mm -hmm. they, they go, you know, the dust and all that, and then they go inside. So, you do not think that, 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 that you trigger. So, basically, that, 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 that they trigger that. And if they use you blue in like three times, more than three times a week, you know, mm -hmm. that they should say you don't expose yourself to a trigger. You try to avoid the trigger, you know. But I can't. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we move into a house where we already meet the, the floor, the carpet, then fix it, and we don't try for acts if we can change it. Because this is the first house actually where they live with. Because I always get me floor because that Nadani they advise me mm -hmm. from where I get asthma for try for avoiding it when a carpet. But now the people they will get a house, yeah, everything for day I day, the floor for left and so. So yeah. Well, mm -hmm. well, that then I think maybe you get for take up with you. Yeah, no. uh, but waiting the the floor, waiting I could do for improver with the floor, and is there anything I could do? Because the hoover, when the when I open the window for hoover, the hoover, but I will sneeze too much during the process. Yeah, well, if you get somebody to do the hoovering for you, yeah. that's fine. You do the hoovering, then they open the window and and, and stuff. Um, but the best solution of actually for change them, you know, if if that need to be a trigger of your asthma, you can speak to you know uh, the council or speak to the gp and all that they say your asthma they be triggered by the carpet you know so they need for actually change change that uh, mm -hmm. and then if the person is this that means it will give you a health risk you see and mm -hmm. so then i help you so you can take on that way that you can go through the council or you can go through the i don't know you I mentioned that to me, GP, because they say where I go, I go speak with the asthma and all, try to explain to them. Because they said they wonder, because we don't stay before quite a while now after the COVID. So 
Now I tell him about the floor. They say, well, um, they're not even telling me what to do. So I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but I know if I cancel your day or whatever way you get for meet the authorities um, uh, around. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Then, then that person is not really they help you. You know, they help okay. you ask me. Yes. You know? Um, okay. I'm going to be using rice. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Welcome. But, but um, continue for the take there, you medication in there, and then you uh, inhale at the day, not stop for taking at all. Uh, yeah. especially yeah. the, the Montillo cast and the other, yeah, the take But the, the pharmacist they advised me, la, they take this, um, uh, uh, uh one, yeah, citrine. So you, you, you get maybe get that, that citrine anti me like that, AP yeah. by an allergy, I'll be the top part, yeah, you know, maybe something like that. In they wouldn't give yourself like one of the, the one day. So, people like me, say, uh, this day inside the Monte Lucas, so I will stop this one, something like that. Because I said the Monty Lucas get antihistamine. I don't know. Right. The Monty, Monty Lucas is antihistamine. City reason mm. antihistamine. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so, so I don't need this one. It depends on the dose. Yeah. So if if it, it depends one the aim of the treatment, I forget the less medication with the control of symptoms. Mm -hmm. If you they get the Monty Lucas, it will help you. Then you don't need that city reason. Okay. But if the Montilucas, no, they actually help you, they get for go to your asthma nurse and pharmacist, let them go uh, review things again and see what, what not the next step. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. No problem. That's cool. Yeah, regarding um, the Hoover and the cow, uh, it could be best to, one, if you get somebody with the Hoover, that would be good. However, if you not get somebody to help you, best they open the window, try to clear out the place a little bit because on 10 days, when they lay in carpet here, they forget an underlay. Now, if you <coughs> put in an old carpet, it can they keep mm. dust more. On mm. the other hand, as well, so Monday, it depends, you know, so on a lot day, and they try for cost cost. So, then they knock and lay a proper underlay underneath before we reduce the dust. So, if you don't try all land, they don't work, then uh, mm. you know, it will be say you get for talk to um, the council. We get um, social workers um, within the team, you know. Mm. Uh, Feel say then cable add value, then mm. we'll at some point they will give you advice, you know. We'll okay. Because they can't do this. I don't try because now private, uh, now private, not to cancel house, now private renting. Uh, even though I private, um, mm -hmm. me only to one, no, not take uh, the official advice, but me okay. only if you talk to them, some mm -hmm. ten they might help you for either you move to another house or maybe they could tell you, say, let you look for another private house, we get mm -hmm. normal floor and then maybe they might. Yeah. I don't think I'll ask an official advice. I will see talk to the force. I and will do that. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Nelly Bell? Yes. Hello. Good evening from Sierra Leone. Can you hear oh. me? Welcome. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, so um, I'm a pediatrician in Sierra Leone. And I uh, just want to say um, thank you so much for this presentation. I joined late, but what I heard was um, quite encouraging. And, and I really be wish say um, we get more people on this call, especially from inside Sierra Leone. If, if not just the um, healthcare workers, the normal self will be get um, we go able for pass on the message because since I come, I find out say um, we know they diagnose asthma much in us alone, and and on the other hand, um, as um, a lot of people then they are we get asthma. Um, unfortunately, some of them have been misdiagnosed as having TB or um, some other pneumonia. And as, as you mentioned as well, um, get, just to give them antibiotics upon antibiotics upon antibiotics. So it, it really sad for C and they happen. So um, yes, we've had this meeting, but I think say maybe we need for, you know, spread the word a bit more. Um, in terms of the recognition and diagnosis of asthma, and not just that as well. Um, so I did train medical students as well, then they come to me in their, in their fifth year, so they do six years in all. So a, a good number, I'd say 90% of them actually not even have use the inhaler properly um, and, and, and also use the, the spacer. Some of them don't even know about spacer um, because it's unavailable to some extent in the country. Um, so we get a lot for do regarding asthma in this country, um, and obviously the triggers and um, and managing the triggers as well. 
So I will stop there for now, but there are, there's a there's a, a need in a salon for we train not just the, the healthcare workers, but also the general public on recognizing and diagnosis of asthma and also how to manage asthma. Because I get patients and they come to me, yes, then diagnose the asthma, but then then just they take salbutamol inhaler, salbutamol inhaler, salbutamol inhaler, and, and that's it. You know, um, no steroids inhaler, no Montelukas, none of the none of the above um, for prevents, which is actually what you need to do to for prevent the acute asthma from happening. So I'm um, really glad, um, especially glad for them videos them. You know, maybe um, if you present, I can maybe just post some of those videos and some of the medical WhatsApp groups them. Just post the video of how to use. Um, the how to inhale one without the spacer and then with the spacer and then with spacer and mask and 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 when then go advise people then go for use the spacer um, and and the mask so um, I really really appreciate this and uh, and I hope so we can maybe spread the word a bit more inside salon um, about asthma and the management of it thank you so much over Thank you so much, Dr. Bell. I really appreciate your contribution. At least you there on the ground, you know, waiting, waiting to happen, you know. I mean, that's come from the horse's mouth, you know, say the way how, how we, we, you know, suffer and that because uh, the diagnostic tools, they're not there, the awareness lacking and all the rest. So we need for do, uh, more awareness. Uh, hopefully, um, Mr. Fuller will, will make sure we will forget some of their videos. And they, this presentation will fully go there on YouTube as well. We're more than willing for for get a repeat of this if that needed. Uh, where in medical student and other people and would they, you know, maybe we'll delve more into into other needs where maybe not just the general public but the medical side again we will need for no. You know, we got pharmacists there now now we group as well. We will help you know in all them things and the then medication relating to asthma and all them things and, the, and other respiratory conditions and we, we know. Because of the time, we'll not even talk about the differentials of the other things that we really think about. Like I said, you know, just again, antibiotics, anything, TB, uh, and all the rest, you see. Okay. So um, it is what it is. So we'll try our best. Uh, we hope, say, uh, people will go, go through and listen. If people are allowed to do it again, we're more than willing to do it again. Yeah, I don't share the number, um, the WhatsApp number with um, um, Nelly Bell. Um, for they get in touch with we um, regarding the copy of this um, video, but also of the video that we use within the presentation as well. Yeah, so if I'm with them, um, <clears throat> we don't day on the halfway mark, almost, we don't almost finish. So do you have to ask if you get any more questions, let people put their hand up or else we will finish for today. Uh, because we try for respect time, we say at the time when we restart and the time when we finish. Once you are to say no more, like I say, uh, they suffer from some of the issues them or some of the points them we Dr. Tuli talk about. But me know, as a pastor, because I know how to manage me. I know say if I go to house, for example, who's animal boku, I like dog. But I know men dog in this country because dog get for this house. And if dog this house, I know say it will make a constant the sneeze. I know say if for day in an environment to say the, the place clean. So I keep boku clutter. You know, I don't like boku jiggy, 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 jiggy all over the place. You know, it's all about knowing waiting work for you and try for manager. You know, there's no one size fit all. It's like when we pick in, for example, when we pick in a king cam, the big bubble, I know say if you did that the old susan and the fry egg, just for fry egg, not to see self eat them, if eat them, a big trouble. But just for fry them, one no say they come, they come for can see me. One week before it come, I make sure say we don't air their house and make sure say we not fry egg. During that period, take it come, take it go, we need fry egg. Why not say the small one, you know, they take notes. I don't understand anything. They are not for manage them. And then self will teach them, let them know waiting and tolerant to and waiting and not tolerant to so they will manage them as well. You know, if this anything there, it's all about understanding. If you don't know, talk to doctors. They will do tests, they will explain to you waiting and waiting and waiting you for avoid. Yeah, so for example, they get tested and can do to pick in there for you know when an allergic test, you know, call in the hospital and we'll do the test and we'll tell you. Yes, boss Carlos. Carlos All right, okay, I don't need now. Yes, um, Dr. Tre, thanks very much. That was a good delivery. Um, I'll be the listen from uh, even for the uh, column for the self can listen, although they did. The same thing we said, they will both agree. I will make you watch about it. No, 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 he can't, he can't, he can't listen. I said, oh, that's good. 
That's it. Well, you see, then Tiaguna for they join them because uh, you know English and Creole, you know, mixed. What I want to ask um, is just um, thanks to first of all Dr. Bell for coming with that idea. Now salon, you know, say yeah, the back and people and they suffer. Then they be diagnosed, do this, do that. But what he offer we me feel saying like a good step for all user mass agents. Then they spread the message because mm -hmm. in a one party people are now. So coming back to the question, um, I just not understand, you know, what, what I want actually ask for, um, what are the chances being me son, you know, he get eczema from, well, asthma from day one up to now. But he mentioned one thing maybe they do you presentation, you know, at the initial stage, say it can be at the family and sometimes, you know, it can happen, say, because mom and daddy, they smoke. That was spot on because I remember Mr. B they smoke long years ago, the time. And before that, at the age of I think 10, I be realizing yes, Mr. B get as my ball. I don't know how they call them in English. But as you talk as soon as they try for think back in the day, because what would they play football? Sometimes they can't kind of net. You, you, you trust the vision. People and like they say, I don't know if you dog way will help, but if they call them uh, and sing it. If that's related to that, yes. But I they go back, this is going back in the 70s. So what are they trying for saying that dog? What are the chances for lay like, maybe me grab them for get them? Because being that for they don't, you know, get them at this stage. Okay. For the nine are the only possible get them or other possible. Yes, yes, I get three picking them, but nine are the only exactly nine are the only possible. So so um there, there is no hard and fast rule say you grab picking they all get for get her. There's right. no rule saying they will get out, they're not going to get them. So most of the time, if you be if you be exposed to the tea, lungs don't be sensitive, your lungs don't be sensitive. Okay. The chance if you get them, okay, there is a chance that yes, they can get them, or they're not going to get them. That body, nobody right. will before like predict that. Okay. But now you don't know the things and way when they and the mama then get belle and everything and they smoking around it and you know them yeah. thing and they avoid them and tell the family for avoiding things and they it's a high chance to say they're not going to forget them even if they're born with sensitive lung they're not going to get symptoms them because they're not exposed to their allergies and they they don't avoid them at all they don't avoid them you know and 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 mostly like i talk well i mean wait to be the photo say where they picking and born with and where they're young they can grow out of them some can grow out of them some not they grow out of them at all and some they grow their symptoms they be so controlled towards the end they're not going to even need medication but if later on they can expose to them they said then begin smoke you know, then begin uh, 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 expose themselves to so many of them things, and then we we'll get the symptoms and back. Yeah. You see, so so now basically that like when somebody gets an adult stage, if the chance say it will continue with time for long and more higher. And let's a little noise again. The smoking, they, they, they get passive smoking sometimes worse than the actual smoking. That smoking they can cause somebody later damage the lung, get COPD, you get the asthma, COPD syndrome, and all that thing. You see, so it's good you know and, and we avoid them. So I hope see that help. Yes, that absolutely, sir. Okay. Thank you very much, Doc. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. CC, now you go be the last one, please. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yes, Jeremy. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Ture. Obviously, I don't see this me, but me, uh, I hope they hear they, they my voice. Yeah, yeah. Now a wonderful presentation. And everything we say just make a reflect back on my own life. Everything me probable, yeah, smartic, a born with time. But sadly, me and never know the smoke, no one they smoke. So I wonder the connection, how obviously that they make uh, like we can I say, or change the whole setting of the house from being a carpet to putting a, a, a you know a flooring for just for reduce. It did help. It did go towards the end, as as I say at the moment. It, 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 it not better. It never affected at all. But the thing that we are surely still a show. This eczema is still a show. That's I don't know the connection between the two now. Mm. Now with the thank you so much, you know, for 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 listening for your feedback. You know, yeah. um, like I be talking about eczema and uh, the helmet. They get uh, immune when somebody get eczema. It gets uh, type two immune 
response way they stimulate. Mm -hmm. And you know, that they get what they call immunoglobulin E and stuff where they produce mm -hmm. and do type two immune response and they can cause certain areas of your body and parts of it be the lung can become sensitive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, and the most common thing and day when you see picking calm the doctor says see eczema a ci says so, so it's not atopic if you're taking blood they get what they call eosinophils where they say they come up you know yeah. by, by the blood test you know okay. some of the tests when they do say some allergies that can, can do allergy tests if you get eczema it will most likely say it will, it will, it will show some of the chemicals and they okay. you know, in the body so so that's not just the link and sometimes, as I mentioned, you can go off farm. Sometimes you can go off farm. And asthma again, uh, eczema again, now a condition where you only they try for manage them. <laughs> you, you know, you get for the get that steroid and all then things and then them um, um, emollient. You know, you get for use more more emollient because if you take eczema, for instance, like you get a balloon, you know, and this balloon here yeah, you fill up with air or with water. And then the, the, the one way filled with air, I know get no old panam is so turgid. When you put old panam, uh, the balloon mm -hmm. they, it, 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 it deflates and then the rubber begins to make by itself. So mm -hmm. that then they cause the dryness, the itchiness, and all the way they cause the scratch, scratch now. The emollients now, they help for cover all the holes in the air around and mm -hmm. make it become turgid and it become less itchy and less scratchy. Now, on top of the becoming the itchy and scratchy, they make them get uh, inflammation where they can't mm -hmm. be. So make them can need sometimes steroid. And that steroid, where they give them steroid creams, they wouldn't they give them. Mm -hmm. Then they get for the what they call the fingertip unit, you know, like mm -hmm. a toothpaste from one end to the other, uh, the tip of your finger, where you go cover like you both your hands so that you could spread them lightly because later on, then if you use them too much again, it can thin the skin towards that, it get more infection. You see, so so it's very more complex. We can talk about it if people they want to, but uh, instead, most of the thing I manage the measure and it get links to 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 that day. So that's yeah, I think say now I think say at the way I will really request for we re run this program here. We go make like instead listen for himself, Larry for himself, let know for manager for himself. They know exactly what he need for do, because at the moment, as I say, the the the, the uh, asthma don't they go. I know, you know, you know, you know, they affect anymore. You know, it don't kind of like subside completely. But at the eczema, then they still the show. You know, they are affecting a lot, and they almost like you know some area of the body where instead they feel shy sometimes. You know, you know, I even the plan say I need for take up perhaps mm -hmm. for another you know you know session for to to a doctor now go to a dermatologist for actually look at the skin condition and see exactly what you need for do for help them you know okay so so start for the on top of the the emollients as much as you could yeah. and, and that that will help them and also uh when just just hold on just hold on just hold on what do you want to say epidermal go on say it epidermal uh, epidem, that's not epidem they use as, as an okay. emolent, right? that's how many times yeah. you use them sometimes I don't, I don't use it on my skin as much but um my um a family friend of mine he tells me all the time but i'm not listening to him he tells me all the time you need to use it and like apply it time to time just to like let it in and it'll sink in yeah yes so, yeah, so that's an advice I'm, for I'm you shot. I'm going shot. <laughs> Yeah, oh. so the epidural is an emollient. You use it up to four times. So you know they ever overuse that. Use as much as you could. The steroid okay. therefore be careful not for overuse, basically. And <laughs> so oh. that's it. So so once once the asthma don't go with time, or hopefully you go manage it. You get another treatment that way then they give in only the dermatologist then go go initiate and ball, you get and get their own side effects and things then. So we try maybe not to go into that stage. But if you're able for manager in that way with just the emollient, you probably may not need anything. Oh thank you very much for, for, for this presentation. It's very, very good for I mean this other thing. You know, you just touch on then tear back, make I reflect the whole thing how I really struggle for getting for understanding the first beginning with all the uh, began with between say, you know, we get to this stage of so now. Anyway, let's just see if I will add to what um, Kenya be the act for, you know, regarding the uh, constitution, regarding him and the house mm -hmm. and the uh, landlord. Yeah. What do you simply need for do? First of all, let's try to get a chat 
with the landlord, but tell them exactly, say, and you obviously you don't use the, the technical language already, say, in a health risk, than a technical language. Mm -hmm. Can for you that word, they say, look, you're not bad for the house with there. Obviously, he close all our amenities away in that area. You know, the house is not bad, everything fine. But since he's moving, it don't become a health risk now since this uh, condition already suffer. And it doesn't get worse, worse and worse. Let me try to get a, a, a record of the times away he visits in GP and perhaps the times of uh, how much it is used or don't really use it here. If you don't, if you say you don't go you know, at a very high risk, where it might lead to other things, as, as I say, you don't use that language already. That, that landlord, landlord or landlady could make sure it go honor that report when they come up from a GP. Which I say, look, let me, let me patient is a live in a house that is conditioned now in the face at the moment. And if you feel say that this you need for do for the resolve in problem, you need for do. You could do that. Yeah. I believe so, yeah. 110%. If you don't do them, obviously, you know, like, oh, let's get a session, a session now for, you know, let's come back and discuss them. We will find our solutions. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, um, thank you very much. And the Kenya, um, like I believe, um, we get a few social workers then within we, and Mr. C.C. is a social worker, so that advice, they, they didn't come up from somebody in a professional, me not a professional in that field. I only know a little bit no more based on reading. Um, for concerning waiting, Mr. C.C. in your own situation they go through, like like I don't see, me on, on one side, me on picking them, would able to manage them in a way that, you know, they're fine, they're body fine, you know, they never get hospital, you know, hospitalized anymore because they're in a better environment and we'll be able to manage them. While on the other hand, as you say, again, you know, they manage them, but there's still a little bit more issues. So it can differ from case to case. Um, also, um, Dr. Bell and alone share something with me. I will share um, quick, then we go close for today. Um, he say, um, you know, for our people that we get picking, we worry about them here, you know, and can visit all our dearest children's hospital. And I can say that for picking no more and I buy appointment and then I for be old. And also for people that we go feel say, you know, maybe God bless you, you want to help out. Then see them they in need of spacers and, and then peak flow meters and stuff like that. So if you want, you can get in touch with we and we will put you in touch with um, Dr. Bell and Salon. We whatever you able to help out with, help out as um, as charitable as you can. But we people and I thank you, thank you very much. And I thank you, thank you for when all the left I do today, the Queen is celebration. You know, so I get book all that thing for do, but on a left arm, on a cam, on a cart, and we hope, see, we don't add value and that we do not see and say that waste, we don't waste on our time. I will thank Dr. Ture for in time and I will go through the panel quick. Dear Lord, make them as short as possible. Dr. Kama, you get any last word for people then? Okay, why Dr. Kama, they get ACF D? Um, maybe I mean, I mean it for mute them. Uh, see, uh, basically next week we go look at uh, monkeypox. As soon as I know, um, that's until we they go through um, we community now. Now, yeah, not to come out ask you for unmute. Um, so now next week, now monkeypox we look at. Not to come out, you want to say last one to you people in quick? Yeah, if I'm going to do, I thank you, thank you. Uh, for we na you know, left for two, all which we na to do, can can join me, but I should say, we na all. Go agree with me, Dr. Tudor did a fantastic job, you know. Uh, it makes them so good that, you know, everybody will join, obviously enjoy, then learn one or two things, myself get one or two things while learn. So it's brilliant. I, I can't, you know, thank her enough, but I give her thank Una because without Una, uh, this thing will go forward, so which we want now for Leona spread the word. So like Una benefits, so Una enjoy them. A nice learn and spread the word to people and let us get the same benefit because which make we form this thing now for there we will for help with people them one way or the other. I, you know, for try and get people them for you no know, say when they are happy, you know, to for begin go to power boon around the corner. Talk to somebody, we really know what they do. And as I say, we need to get paid. We all don't do this thing. We do now for three years. We you know, for there we help with people them. You know, we're not doing a free tongue. But then the way they know, say, we do our best for Lewis. So spread the word, help we for Lewis get to the higher stage so that people as if we get uh, radio and if I can go, you know, say, ah, well, but they do, if I get any issues, I know say that they go help with and that we want. So thank you so much to everybody. And remember, if you not get well body, believe you me, any kind of gentry where you get, go down for that secret. So well body, now in better past gentry. Thank you and God bless we all. Thank you very much, Dr. Kama. Dr. Bell, Dr. Christian Bell. Yeah, well, good evening, um, um, Dr. Tuve. Thank you very much for the um, for.
for that session that was very, very good. I mean, I miss it learning a lot. And um, we hope say, um, people will be able to use what you say um, for educate other people. Then. And um, as um, TJ John say, um, I guess with YouTube um, channel as well, where people can go and, and watch the video. So that means for Dr. Bell with the Sierra Leone, uh, Dr. Bell, I mean, actually, I'm his sister. And at the head of, of the all at Union Hospital, and I recognize them, and they did a very good job there. And if you want to um, teach in, in students, then you can actually go on the YouTube channel and um, and show the students them um, this, this this session. Yeah, and there are also other great sessions then they um, we will also help um, medical students then at Sierra Leone. But not to, this session not only for medical students then, but also the the um the whole the whole population of Sierra Leone. So as um, Dr. Kamas have done say, please wanna spread the word with the try for see how we were able for go on the radio stations then at Salon and maybe also on TV stations if possible. But then I will long term go land there and we hope to we for go achieve that. And they also recognize um Dr. Patrick Coca um is if they as at C name um um, yes. and, uh, thank you for his have joined and we hope say he he will for spread spread the message as well and then it's a honor for me if we get somebody like um um not this not this session thank you for attending and as we always say well body better past gentry thank you very much sir thank you very much dr bell um, i'll go to dr Lisha, um rashid conte dr rashid conte a proper doctor now yes dr rashid <laughs> Fan Buddha, nah, good evening. Um, Dr. Ture, many thanks for the wonderful presentation. Uh, there's nothing more I can add. The only concern, anytime I they listen to a presentation, wherever they present is how really we they effectively reach Sometimes Pagbana at the village. Because this is the target group we really need for benefit. And the one that we sometimes then a big turn way exposed to maybe TV or YouTube or Facebook or whatever, do your family that will make use of this opportunity. Because now free service and it can save somebody in life. So Dr. Ture, thank you. And the Well Body Better Pass Gentry team for all the sacrifices. I hope and pray say, God go lead the leadership for make we really able reach the people that way we need for reach for make the all benefit to not thank you. Thank you very much, Doctor. Okay, I'm the other person. I'll go to my Auntie Gugi. Yeah. Um. Thank you very much, Doctor Tuge, um, for a very good presentation. Um, again, just like well, man, don't talk. I don't think I get much for add again because we don't talk everything, especially for me. Every time I say like Doctor Rashid, every time more than they present for me, not so yes, what I think about na salon. And they had to think about all the term where then opportunity yesterday, then we get an idea, it they pain me for say we're not able for we people they not get them, we people they go through so much, they don't understand. Now they will all be there to self not be understand anyway. So for kind of also we had an open like we open so if I we we all they think about salon, what they think about people them for me that then they now it na me had they pain me all the term where doctor. To any doctor, anybody say for the present, what would they talk about the Western world and everything we then get now? So for for and at the same time, people then still not they take the opportunity for like they even join a year where over yonder where they need them. There's the difficulties of joining because of um poverty, really. So I just they say thank you to Dr. Ture and with your old man don't talk. I just they concur with that. Thank you. Thank well, you body better pass gentry. 
Thank you very much, ma'am. To all the family them, I want to thank you very much for what I like, probably I'll be saying before, doctor. And all the doctors I don't say, so when I left, wait till they do all the other important things, then when I can join me, I want to thank you very much. We hope, say, when I don't benefit from this today, and next, um, the next fortnight, the next presentation will be on monkeypox. So I will encourage people in there when I turn up and when I tell people them, when I spread the word. The reason why I make the YouTube channel not update at the moment, I'm a fault. I'm sorry, take that blame, but I will try for update them as soon as possible and make sure see all the other presentations that will be done do the all good day. So at any time, you can go there, view them, or share what you think it will benefit somebody. Then we all spread the word and let people benefit. Till we meet again in the fourth night. Well, buddy, better pass gently. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Okay, I will on